So here at Sea Otter, I'm with a good friend Sam. We rode together at Whistler. Uh, he, had, he set me up on the DB inline coil, which was awesome. But since then, they've, they've been busy. They introduced a lot of products. So here with this Pit Viper Gosses. That's right. Sam, take it away. So guys, I'm Sam Anderson, product manager at Cane Creek Cycling Components. I want to talk to you about the air spring of the new Cane Creek Helm fork. Our accessory free volume adjustment is the first thing that you see when you take the cap off of the top. It's a wing nut system, so you take the wing nut and unthread and then you can index this piston up and down the rod. We have eight different indexes on this piston. You can also run this thing completely off if you're looking for a more linear feel. So the next bit is the compression rod assembly. This bit can be found in this location of the fork and it houses our travel spacers, which are 10 millimeters. This one right here is three spacers are installed on the compression rod. Fully open without any spacers, this is 170 millimeter travel. With three installed, 30 millimeters redu reduced, it's 140. So this is 140 mil travel compression rod as is. The negative air spring is actually isolated from the positive air spring. So you charge the top of the fork just like you would on a standard, uh, standard fork elsewhere. Instead of just having the two equalized from the top, there's actually a manual adjustment, it looks like a Presta valve, and it's an equalizer system. When you press the button, air flows from the positive chamber into the negative chamber, and then you can actually fasten this thing down to isolate that specific amount of air to then bleed air off of the positive or increase air on the positive to then have two different pressures between your negative and positive chambers.